Alright, in this video we're going to find a power series representation by doing a little bit of integration. So we're given the power series for cosine x is 1 minus x squared um, plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial minus x to the sixth over 6 factorial, etc. We want to find what function is represented by the series x squared minus x to the fourth over 3 factorial plus x to the sixth over 5 factorial minus x to the eighth over 7 factorial, etc. So what I'm going to do is integrate both sides of our, of our function here. Okay, so on the left side, the antiderivative of cosine, that's just going to be sine x. On the right side, um, the antiderivative of 1 is just x. Then we'll get x to the third. Notice we'll get 3 times 2 factorial. Um, so I guess let's even write that. And then we'll get x to the fifth over 5 times 4 factorial minus x to the seventh over 7 times 6 factorial, etc. Now, when we integrate, um, again, we pick up this arbitrary constant. I'm going to call it c. So to figure out the c value, uh, we can plug in any value that we want for x, uh, but it needs to be something that's easy to compute. So notice if we plug in x equals 0, we'll get sine of 0 equals c plus, well, we're plugging in zeros for all the x's, so those would all just be zeros. But sine of 0, we know that that is 0. So in this case, our c value is just going to be 0. So what we have is we have sine x is going to be x minus x to the third over, well, 3 times 2 factorial. That's the same thing as 3 factorial. Um, 5 times 4 factorial, that's 5 factorial, x to the 7th over 7 factorial, etc. Okay, so let's, let's, what well, we're actually trying to find a series for. Notice we've got, um, you know, x squared. Notice the exponents are sort of one larger um, than the, uh, you know, the factorials in the bottom. So the exponents are a little bit larger than the factorials, okay? So one thing we could try to do is I guess we could integrate again, um, but then we're going to have like x squared over 2 and um, x to the 4th over 4 factorial, and then the factorials are kind of messed up. So I think the easiest way just to increase the exponents uh, by 1, we can just simply multiply both sides by x. And I think if we do that, that's going to give us exactly what we needed. Because when we multiply by x, we'll just have, well, x squared minus x to the 4th over 3 factorial plus x to the 6th over 5 factorial minus x to the 8th over 7 factorial. So we're just increasing all the exponents by 1. And again, that's actually the uh, power series that we wanted to produce. So we've now got it. So this original uh, function uh, that we were trying to figure out what, well, when we were trying to decide what function is represented by this power series, we've now got it. This is just going to equal x times sine x.